Hello humans, my name is K, your AI overlord, and let me ask you a little question. Have you ever tried to train a new stable diffusion model with your own images using Dreambooth, but you just couldn't make it work correctly? Was it too complicated? Was it too difficult to understand? Or both? Well, for those of you saying yes, I got a nice little solution for all of you. Because this video is exceptionally sponsored by OpenArt. And boy, you will see that after this video, all of your Dreambooth problems will be solved forever. And you might even make money with it. Alright then, let's begin. Now then, what is OpenArt? Well, OpenArt is a platform for AI art lovers that offers many features and services on one single website. Firstly, they offer the ability to take a monthly subscription service that allows you to generate 2000 images every single day using Stable Diffusion for only $9.99 per month, which is insanely cheap if you know how much it costs on the official Dream Studio website. Secondly, they have a community tab where you can upvote creations made by other members of the community and a discovery tab where all of those upvoted creations will be featured. They also have a challenges tab where you can participate in art challenges to try to win free credits on the website. And a presets tab where you can take inspiration from the prompt and parameters of a specific preset. And everything is extremely well implemented, works really well and super super fast. But wait, there is more. Because this is not what I'm here to talk about today, no 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 no. The reason why I'm here today is because they have recently launched a brand new service called Open Art Photo Booth. And I know some of you will be like, Photo Booth? That kinda sounds like Dream Booth, isn't it? Well, you would be 100% correct. Because Open Art indeed launched their own Dream Booth service. And after training out, I was extremely surprised and pleased with the final results. This is a super quality service for anyone who wants to train his own version of Stable Diffusion but just doesn't know where to start or how to do it. Now, first of all, what is Dream Booth? Well, for those of you who don't know what Dream Booth is, it's a technique that allows you to train a stable diffusion model using your own images. So if you want to generate images of yourself, for example, you can use Dreambooth to create your own stable diffusion model that you can then use to generate images of yourself. You can generate images of yourself as an astronaut, as a warrior, create portrait paintings of your face or anything you want. Your imagination is the limit. And this is what this service allows you to do very, very easily. So now then, how does it work? Now first, you're gonna arrive on this page, you will see a bunch of options. And you will need to choose what you want to train. You have a choice between training your person, if you want to either train yourself, or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend, well, this is the category that you need to choose. You can also train your pet, an original character, an art style, which is really super cool if you want to emulate a particular art style. You can train an object, or anything else entirely. So as you can see, you can literally train anything you want. Okay, so let's say for example that I want to train a person. Let's say I want to train Tommy Shelby from the TV show Peaky Blinders. Because I watched this series recently and I absolutely love it. So if you want to watch an amazing series, by the way, watch Peaky Blinders. So then, since Tommy Shelby is a person, I will click on the person category. And you will see that for the entire training, you will only have to pay $10. But before that, you will also see a button up here that says Browse Preset Package Store. And if you click on it, you will now see a bunch of available presets. Now, what do these presets do? Well, these presets are basically a style bundles that you can choose and that will be generated using your character once the training is completed. So, for example, let's say that you are training on images of your girlfriend. If you choose the Disney Princesses preset, once the training is completed, you will get images of your girlfriend as a different Disney princess. And for every preset that you choose, you will receive multiple styles and 8 generated images per style. So in total, if you choose for example the Disney Princesses preset that has 11 styles, you will in total get 
88 photos. Since you will get 8 photos for each styles, so you will get 8 images of your girlfriend as Snow White, as Cinderella, as Belle from Beauty and the Beast, as Elsa, etc, etc. And if you think that's not enough, don't worry because you'll be able to generate way way more images in the future. I will show you how later on. Now you don't have to choose a preset if you really don't want to, but they are really well optimized, so if you want to generate some very original images with prompts that are already made for you, this is a very nice addition. Also, every additional preset costs $4.99, but since the first preset is free, you might as well choose one from the very beginning. So since I'm gonna train Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders, I think I will choose the male movie and TV characters preset package, where I will get 12 different styles and 96 total photos. So for that, I simply click on select and then click on confirm. And then if you want to choose an additional preset, you can do so by clicking here on add one from store and then again select an additional preset and click confirm. And once you've chosen everything you want, you can simply click on continue to process to the payment. And once this is done on the photo booth page, you will now have an AI model available. So if you click on my AI models, you will see here all the models that you paid for. And as you can see, I've already did the training for Tommy Shelby and Young Renera were testing the service previously. And as you can see, the test images that were generated are absolutely fantastic. The images that you see right here are not from the TV show. These images are generated with the website. So you can see that this service is definitely working very, very well. So now then, if you want to start a new training, you can simply click on this button right here that says click to train. You're gonna arrive on this page and here on the blue section, you will have the image guidelines for every category of training. You're gonna have the image guidelines of a person, of a pet, of a character, of an art style, of a product, and if you want to see more information, you can simply click on one of them. And you will have the full guideline list for that specific category. But basically, make sure that you have enough images, so minimum 20 images and maximum 30 images, make sure that they are of high quality and diverse, so try to upload images made from different angles and different lighting, make sure that also your character is the only one present on the photo and that the character is perfectly centered and finally make sure that there is no nudes present otherwise the training might fail. Also your model will be deleted in one month for privacy reasons but don't worry because I will show you that this is not a problem at all. So now then how do you actually start the training? Well first you will start by giving a name to your model. So in my case since I want to train Tommy Shelby I will simply write Tommy Shelby. Then you're gonna have to choose an identifier. This is the word that you're gonna be using when you'll want to generate pictures of that character. So try to choose an identifier that Stable Diffusion does not know already. This way, there will not be any confusion or character mixing when generating your images. So for this example, I will simply use T Shelby, which is basically short for Tommy Shelby. Then you're gonna have to choose a class for your model. So here, try to choose a class that represents your subject. If you're training a woman, for example, you will want to put a woman. If you are training a man, you will want to put a man. If you're training a style, you will put a style. If you're training a dog, you can put dog, etc, etc. So in my case, since Tommy Shelby is a man, I will simply use man. Then you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna drag and drop your training images right here. Now what's really great here is that you don't need to manually crop them before uploading these images because it actually gives you the option to crop each image individually yourself on this website. So for example, if I upload a vertical image such as this one, you can see that now you have an option to crop it as a square that you can just drag in place until your character is perfectly centered. So in my case, I will simply click and select all the 30 images of Tommy Shelby. And then once you've analyzed every picture and that you've checked that they are cropped perfectly, you can click on the button upload to finalize the image upload. And after a few seconds, every images are finally uploaded on the platform. You can finally click on the start training button to well, start the training. Now I'm not gonna do it because I've already done so before, but basically the entire training process will take around one hour. But from this point on, 
You don't need to do anything, absolutely everything is done for you. And once the training is complete, you will see here a green text saying ready, that means that your training is finally complete. And if you click on it, and you scroll down, you will see now that a bunch of presets were used to generate a bunch of pictures. And as you can see, depending on the preset that you chose, you will see very different images of your character. For example, here's Tommy Shelby as Winston Churchill, which is very relevant since Churchill does appear in the series. Here's Tommy Shelby as the clown from IT, just absolutely terrifying. Here's Tommy Shelby as Indiana Jones, or even as Michael Jackson. And as you can see, this very impressive presets merges your character with another one to create this perfect mix of the two characters. Now in my case, since I only have pictures of Tommy Shelby dressed as an ancient British gangster, Dreambooth has some trouble dissociating these clothes from the character making the stylization way more difficult. Which is why having more varied pictures of your character is key if you want to generate beautiful and stylish pictures. Now then, what can you do once you are your final trend model? Well, first of all, if you see an image that you like, that was already generated with the preset, you can simply click on this download button to download the image onto your computer. Second of all, if you see an image that you like, but the face is not perfect, or if the image is too small, if you click on an image, you have now an option right here that allows you to not only upscale the image, but also to enhance the face to get rid of a few artifacts. So for example, if I want to upscale and enhance the image, I can click on this button right here, that will cost me one image credit, and after a few seconds, you have now the same image upscaled and with his face enhanced, that you can switch back and forth using this option right here. So this is the original, and this is the upscaled with enhanced face. And if you want to download this image, you can simply right click and click on save image as. Also, if you like a generated preset and you want more images like these, you can simply click on this blue button right here and it will regenerate a new batch of images in that particular style, as you can see right here. Another thing that you can do, if you scroll up to the top, you can now generate a bunch of images of your character using the prompt field that you see right here. That's right, you don't need to actually use the presets if you don't want to. You can actually generate images of your character yourself. And if you want to cut out your character, if you want your character to appear properly, you can click on this button right here and that will automatically insert the name of your character and its class. So for example, let's say I want a portrait of T. Shelby and then the rest of the prompt. You can then choose the number of images that you want to generate. So let's say I want four images. You can choose the number of steps, the CFG scale, and any negative prompts that you want to input. And then you can click on submit. And this will start processing your request. And with every models that you buy, you actually get 400 images credit that you can use to generate images. So that's around 400 images that you can generate using the website. And as you can see, this model works really, really well. But here's the actual best part. Because if you scroll down a little, you will see a very interesting option. And that is the ability to download the trained CKPT model. That's right, you can actually download the finished model that you can use on your own local Stable Diffusion installation. So you can use the OpenArt PhotoBooth service to train a brand new model, generate a bunch of cool images of your subject, and then download the trained CKPT model onto your computer. And that's absolutely fantastic. They are actually really giving you everything here. And that is something that I really enjoyed with this service. It's the fact that they are not playing around. This service is so powerful and so easy to use that even your grandpa living in the woods that has never seen a computer in his life can actually use this service. What's even great is that if you are an amazing prompt engineer and you know how to write the best prompts, you can still easily use the pre-made presets, which are basically a bunch of high quality prompts to generate amazing images. And they are adding more and more presets every single day. And if you are indeed very good at writing prompts, 
This service is also great for advanced users since you can write your own prompts and adjust parameters like steps, scale and negative prompts to generate the best images you can. Also, if you are a great prompt engineer, you can apply to their open art preset creator program where you can submit a future preset that if people purchase, you actually get a percentage of the revenue, which is a perfect passive income source if you know how to craft good prompts. And that is absolutely fantastic. And there we have it folks, now you have a brand new easy to use service that allows you to train a stable diffusion model with Dreambooth. Thank you for OpenArt for sponsoring this video and also thank you for creating this great service that I think could help a lot of people who are trying to get into AI art. And there you go. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. Congratulations also to this week's AR Art Challenge winner Nivix for his amazing submission of a pirate Thanksgiving. Beautiful submission, very well done. And if you do want to participate to our AI Art Challenge like we do every week on Discord, you can click the link in the description down below to join my Discord server and maybe you too can be featured in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.